Uh, welcome everybody. It's going to be a, a two times presentation. I'm going to uh, to make a, a quick glimpse at the, 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 the problem of the plagiarism at the university. And then uh, Schubert is going to show you how we, uh, we implemented that on our LMS. Uh, so, uh, I'm Jeremy Gripeyou. I'm working for the Grenoble Universities. We have five universities in Grenoble. Uh, that's about uh, 61,000 students and 6,000 6 to, uh, 6 to 7, uh, teachers, according to the schools. Uh, plagiarism is not, uh, it's not a new big problem. It's, uh, it's not only a problem in schools and in universities, it's also a big, uh, big uh, society problem. Just because um, it is so easy technically nowadays uh, to find information, to copy information and to gather information. Uh, it is not just a university problem. For example, uh, this is a, a real famous case of plagiarism in France uh, that happened in 2011. Uh, this is a famous former journalist in France who had written many books. And his last one was about the biography of uh, Ernest Hemingway. And uh, some people uh, accused him to have uh, copied about a uh, hundred of pages uh, of another biography of Ernest Hemingway. Uh, this is not only in literature, uh, we can see it in music with Muse, Lana Del Rey, uh, Rihanna, Pete Doherty, even the rock stars are plagiarizing their, uh, their, their, their music or their, the, the lyrics of their music. So uh, this is um, a, a whole problem uh, we have to deal with in the, within the universities. For the universities, what is plagiarism? Uh, this is to copy a text without uh, any references. Uh, this is uh, even translating a foreign document and taking, uh, taking it for our own. And uh, it is just a uh, control C, control V of a text without mentioning where it comes from. Uh, I, I translated the, um, the cartoons <laughs> and the uh, on the uh, on the bottom of the of the slides, but uh, this is what we uh, usually have in uh, in universities uh, as as a, as plagiarism. Not only students are concerned with uh, with plagiarism, even teachers, researchers are concerned with plagiarism, and so uh, we have to to deal with that uh, in the in the universities to, to prevent that from uh, ruining the image of the university products. Uh, this is a, there, there is a, a recent case in Grenoble of a, of a plagiarism. Uh, this is an old teacher. He's about 70 years old and he has done a thesis he proposed, uh, he proposed the thesis, and this has been uh, convinced with plagiarism at about 75% of the whole thesis. Uh, so this is a big, big case. Uh, the university doesn't know how to deal with that, uh, actually, because uh, this, uh, this uh, teacher is um, kind of famous in Grenoble, and uh, they, uh, they don't know really how to, how to act in front, uh, in front of these cases, but just not only students are concerned with plagiarism, even teachers. So what can we do uh, to prevent or to, to, to warn the people not to plagiarism? Uh, there are some contracts now at the universities of Grenoble uh, that the teachers and the students are um, forced to sign uh, 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 they, um, they, 
uh, when they when they are going to um, to present a product or a book or, or, or an assessment, uh, they have to sign that kind of contract uh, that allowed them that uh, if there is plagiarism in their products, uh, they are going to have some measures uh, to be taken uh, because uh, because the university can risk its own images, uh, its own image uh, in front of the rest of the universities and the rest of the world. Those contracts include uh, the notions of copywriting and uh, intellectual property. Uh, the, the, um, it is just just a slight lines in the in the wall contract, but it is important for the university to have it because they are uh, protecting themselves uh, in case of plagiarism and in case of sanctions after plagiarism. So the first steps to avoid plagiarism is to prevent, to prevent, uh, to prevent it uh, by uh, explaining what is plagiarism to students and teachers and researchers, uh, explain how to make um, politically, politically correct quotes within the products of the students. And uh, so they have, uh, they have guides, uh, each, each student should receive a, gui a guide, a user's guide about uh, how to, to write an essay, how to write a thesis or a document, how to mention the sources of a, of a biographical um, references. And uh, everything is done to teach them, before they are going to do this, uh, to teach them how to, uh, to avoid a case of plagiarism. This is very important, the, the prevention before the, the sanctions. But if there are sanctions, this is the, what, uh, what they are going to, what the students are exposed to. Uh, there are so well, different levels of sanctions. Uh, this is the uh, University of Laval, Laval in Quebec. Uh, universities of Grenoble are, um, are, mostly, uh, are mostly doing the same things. About, uh, about the students, uh, about the students. So this just be a uh, failure for just the, the test that has, be, uh, that has been done uh, to, uh, to a complete expulsion of the university and with no rights to, uh, to, to subscribe to the university again. A real case in the uh, University of Versailles in, uh, near Paris uh, during during one year, there was 24, 24 cases of plagiarism. Uh, there have been two warnings: just uh, don't do that again, uh, because they were they, they weren't sure if there was a, um, a plagiarism or just uh, uh, some quotes forgotten in the in the products of the students. Uh, there were two blames: a real real case of plagiarism, uh, ten exclusions from a, for a real uh, short period. Uh, there's not farm, but firms uh, expulsion, <laughs> uh, exclusion from the university from three months to one year. That the, the, the student has lost, uh, they had lost uh, completely their year of studying, and there are uh, seven exclusion of all university within the, within the, within France. Uh, this is a this is a really really great case of uh, of plagiarism. So there is a link in French to have the details um, in, the, in the slideshow, uh, to have more information about this case. So what tools do we have? What tools do we have to prevent or to detect uh, the plagiarism? Uh, at the University of Grenoble, uh, we are, we've gone on a paid solution. Uh, FRS uh, from the Netherlands and Compilatio from France uh, near Grenoble, uh, we decided, from some department decided to go on that solution uh, because um, it, were, it has been seen more efficient to reveal some case of, um, to reveal some case of plagiarism. Uh, there are some departments uh, that are not equipped 
with these pairing uh, solutions, and they use a free solution on the web. Uh, the, the, the results are not very relevant uh, according to the um, according to the to, to the product of the of the, stu uh, the, stu of the students, and uh, most of the time those uh, free tools are just seeking the web, seeking the search engine, and they have no uh, real database uh, uh, on the uh, on their corpus to find if there are cases of uh, of, uh, of plagiarism. Moreover, uh, they don't know. We don't know on the free tools where the data of the of the user is going, wh where it is stored, uh, who can uh, ha who can uh, have access to the the product of the students or of the, of the teacher. So they uh, they prefer to have um, paying solutions uh, to guarantee a sort of kind of secure secure data for the for the users. Uh, we are trying now in, uh, in Grenoble to, um, to have a kind of harmony uh, within all the universities. For, so, for, for nowadays, only the, some departments have those solutions, and we are trying to convince every department of, uh, of each university to, to, uh, to gather themselves to have one solution for all. This is not uh, this is not really easy, but it can reduce the cost of the of the license uh, really really deep. What we are doing what uh, what we are doing in Grenoble is that uh, we don't think uh, students as um, as guilty in advance, so we are giving them the chance to test. Their products within these tools uh, to see if their 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 essay of uh, of their assessments are um, are uh, politically correct uh, in function of the of the attempt of the universities. So they can take their own assessment, test it in those tools, and uh, have a report of any case of uh, possible. Uh, plagiarism cases uh, detection. Uh, many many teachers don't like this because uh, they they seems to um, they, they they think to that um, uh, it it is going to make the students learn how to plagiarism uh, without being seen. <laughs> but uh, many of them many of the of, of, of our teacher thinks that's great because they have. Uh, um, a, a better quality in the assessments of the of the students. I think that's all. I, did, I told you that's a quick <laughs> presentation of what we're doing in, in Grenoble. Uh, these are uh, these are the quick references of the, uh, about plagiarism. Uh, we have um, a big one with Michel Bargada from Switzerland, uh, with a big references in the, in the work to prevent plagiarism. Uh, this site is, a, is an old style site, uh, HTML, no CSS. Uh, uh, in French, we say that a brut de décoffrage. It's uh, really, really harsh to, to, to read, but it's full, full, full of references, uh, tools, and uh, it's very rich. Uh, for, for a side again uh, concerning plagiarism. And then uh, Liège University has made a big file, a big, uh, a big research around, around plagiarism that can be used for universities to help them to, read con to, to write contracts uh, with, the, with the students, to write a user's guide for teachers and researchers. Now, those, uh, those links are really, uh, are really rich. So now I'm going to let Schubert present you what we've done uh, with those tools within, uh, within Camilo's for the universities. Hi, I'm Hubert Borderview, and now we are going to see it in action. 
Okay, we are, first of all, we start to test uh, free tools on the web. So I will show you the file I use for my tests. It just, uh, uh, the text in black is a text I've copied from Wikipedia, and the text in red is the text I write. So I've copy past my text in a free uh, web tool, just copy past in the text. And the button is quick search because uh, all free tools I've tested on the web have a premium account that you have to pay with more uh, features. So it's quite easy to use. It's the website Pledgeum. You copy past your text, you click on check, and you have all the web references if found concerning your text. You do just uh, a search on, uh, on uh, um, a search in your browser, like you can do it uh, in your uh, search bar, but with uh, a longer text. So it's a, first, it's a first way to check plagiarism, but results are quite hard to understand. And uh, the list of, uh, of websites it's quite long and it's quite difficult to, to really check and really uh, judge the, the assessment, the work of the students with just this tool. And uh, the database used is just the public documents you can find on the web. Now, that's why in the university they use uh, not free tools, as uh, Jeremy says, because you can have a, a, a repository of documents of your university and uh, the plagiarism tool we check the student's documents with all the documents you have in your database. For example, they, 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 they say the student paperwork, dissertation and thesis in uh, on library documents in a private database and they have now um, maybe six or seven years of uh, student assessments in the database. And when the teacher submits a new document to be, check it, to be checked, it is checked with uh, this, uh, this amount of document, of the, the history of the doc student document of the university. And those documents don't have to be uh, free or public on the web. So that's why it's, in the university, they, they prefer to use a not a free, uh, not a free tool. They know that student publication will be safe in a database, and uh, no, nobody can have access to um, to these documents. So the tool uh, we use in Grenoble University is Compilatio. Okay, let's go in a Camilo course, in the assessment tools. This is an example of a platform of a, a Sciences Po a Grenoble. And what we can see here, we can see another column in the assessment tools, which name is Compilatio. And uh, here are documents I've submitted for tests. And when you go in the assessment tool, the, uh, you can see the percentage of plagiarism of your document on the right. Okay, it's test, so you see it's 100% because it's just uh, uh, it's just for test. And on here, you can see a document with 38% uh, of plagiarism. No plagiarism data are stored in the Camilo database. Uh, all this information concerning plagiarism are stored in the Compilatio website. Uh, the plugin just do a link between Camilo and the Compilatio website. Uh, in the Camilo database, we store an ID for each document to check in the Compilatio website what is the plagiarism state of these documents. So when you 
go in your assessment tool for each document. Uh, the plugin will check with check the compilation website and ask uh, ask it what is the plagiarism percentage of this document. That's why you can see here. Up, connection with the compilation server. For each document, it sends a request to the compilation server to ask it what is the plagiarism percentage of the document. It's quite fast. And you can see here too, if document has not been checked yet, you have the link analyzed with compilation. And you can select several documents to send them, uh, to send several documents to be checked by the compilation, uh, compilation tools. Okay. When you click on the link of a previously checked the document, you go to the compilation website and uh, have access to all this information concerning the plagiarism for this document. After this is the info, and you have got information um, more detail, more detail uh, than the free website. The forest did the same thing. All the tool did uh, more or less, uh, more or less the same thing. The, the, the main advantage is, is to have our documents stored in a private and a safe database. And they, had, they, have, they, they have web services uh, to, to be able to help us to, to make a plugin uh, in, in our platform. I didn't find, I, I wanted uh, first of all to do a plugin for Camilo to use a free, uh, a free plagiarism tool on the web. So I, I, I've tried to, uh, to, to see, for example, the page of plagium.com. Uh, there is a text array, you can copy paste. I can check the idea of a copy pass, try some JavaScript code to, uh, to put my, my, uh, my, uh, my text in the, in, the, in, the, in the forms directly, but it's, not, it's more like hacking a web page. It's not, you know, because there are ad, um, adverts in the free, uh, in the free page because no, nothing is completely free. Either. So they, they, they don't have web service to use free, uh, to use free plagiarism tools. Okay, now we are going to see how to do the analyze of a document. Okay, so we are in a Camilo 1.4 course. We go in the assessment tool. We see our tool like uh, before. The difference is we just check, you see, with compilation plugin. Otherwise, it's the same, uh, the same tool, uh, the same assessment tool. I'm going to look for my document, my uh, Nerbo Totoro. I send it and I got the button Analyze with Compilation. It, it uploads the document to the compilation uh, website and then the compilation website returns the result, the result of the, of the, of the analyze. Okay. Uh, Sometimes you have to wait before a document being uh, being checked. Okay, so uh, up, the document is now checked. You now it, it took about five minutes, you know, to be in the queue of uh, the analysis queue of, uh, of uh, compilation. During this time, you can still use uh, Camilo and your course. And uh, with Ajax, if you go back to the assessment tool, you see, uh, you see in life uh, the state of uh, analysis of your document. Mm. OK. So this is the state of the analysis. We can see, we can see here. 
you can you can wait until it's finished, or you can still go uh, go on working. And uh, if you come back to the assessment tool, you will see the percentage of uh, analyze of the document. Okay, and when it's done, okay, we need why ninety three percent, nearly finished. So it's going to check every, I don't know what I put, every maybe 10 or 30 seconds to check the state of a document. So the document is being analyzed by Compilatio and it's nearly, it's nearly done. Okay, so it's done and you find a 100% plagiarism detection for my document. And you have all the details uh, of the document. This is the part I've written and the part of copied past. Okay, uh, the, the plugin, uh, well, I don't say plugin because plugin is another thing in, in, in Camilo, I say the add-on. Uh, is uh, developed for 1.9.4 and 1.9.6. Okay. Do you have any question for Jeremy, uh, presentation or, or mine? I just wanted to uh, tell you that um, uh, plagiarism is not a uh, fault. Um, they, um, uh, the tools of anti-plagiarism are just uh, tools to help detect uh, uh, how a text has been made, but it's not a um, uh, police to, to, to flick to flick the, the students. It just uh, it's just a, a, another tool to help teachers uh, to correct uh, the, the, the student papers, but they, they they are not correcting it from the teachers. It's just a, 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 an add-on from the correction. The students, oh, uh, yes. they are, that they are giving to the students, uh, they, uh, it, it protects the universities from being uh, sued by the students in case of sanctions after plagiarism. Uh, because uh, we, have, uh, we have a case in the political institute in Grenoble uh, where students have, uh, have copied uh, almost 19% of his paper. So uh, they took him apart. Uh, he, he went from the the, the comment appel ça la, la commission de uh, la, la commission discipline the, the discipline, disciplinary commission uh, and then he was excluded. But <laughs> it was political school, so he read all the contracts of the students. Uh, he had signed when he arrived, and he saw nothing concerning plagiarism. So he sued the school uh, because he wasn't warned about this, and uh, they have to to take him back in the school, and they have to pay him some uh, so, some uh, some bill due to the the, the suing act. So uh, those kind of contracts are protecting the students and the universities. Was a real good student. <laughs> Do you have any, any information on, on, on the price actually of the tool? Uh, we are negotiating. Uh, the, the price are varying in function of the, um, the size of the university and the number of students for the moment. Um, for, for the moment, one department for with um, uh, have uh, I have just information here just a sec okay uh, for for about uh, 
15 15000 students uh, one department is paying uh, 8000 euros uh, 8000 euros but we that's almost uh, uh, 74 cents uh, of euros per student but we are negotiating with all the students of all the universities and now we are we are reducing the prices to uh, 51 to 70 uh, to, to 47 cents of euros per student. So it's, it's, it's peanuts for the university if everybody is, is, ga is gathering on, the, uh, on this uh, offer. Yeah. Uh, are you giving a workshop to the, to the students? Or yeah. only the yeah. uh, every, um, every university is um, is gathering all the students, the primo students, those who are arriving for the for the first year in a, in, a, in the university, in a big uh, empty empty theater, and they are explaining themselves how the, the policy of the university about plagiarism, and then they are giving uh, they are given this guide, and um, there's a. Uh, a teacher in charge of uh, informing them how to quote in a in a paper and so on. Uh, it's big. Uh, uh, they 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 have to do it because of the more moreover there are there are many 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 papers that have been copied each year. It's a, it's an amount. It's an amount uh, more and more. Okay, uh, so for, for the moment, it's, uh, they, they have several types of contracts. So one, the, the, the one is the, um, the papers you are inserting in the tool is, uh, stay in the tools and then you have the choice. Only uh, you can just uh, keep it for yourself as a teacher. You can just give it to the tools so for all the users of the tools, or all the universities, all their, uh, all their clients, or uh, you can give it public. And so this is uh, part of the big database uh, on, the, on, on, the, on the tools. And then they are buying database, paying data, paid the paying database, and uh, the, 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 free, the free tools doesn't do that. So uh, this is why sometimes it is, ex it is expensive. But they are not. Uh, they, they don't want really to say which database they are paying to compare. <laughs> That's it. I, mm, I don't know, maybe, p perhaps a 194, okay. but uh, I will have to put the 196 to Nova. Um, you have a SQL file because you have to create a new, uh, a new table in the database, but the, um, the aim of the, the plugin is not to, um, to f force people to use one uh, plagiarism tool as compilatio because it's the one we use, but we can use another one. Uh, the aim is to, to have um, plagiarism, uh, pl uh, shows several plagiarism tools in, um, <coughs> in Camilo. So the, the code uh, is quite generic. For example, the database don't have the name of the tool, and you will be able to add another tool and use the same, uh, the same table. And uh, in the administration, uh, part you have uh, the information the information stored concerning uh, the, the plagiarism tool you use, uh, the license key, uh, the, the the URL of the SOAP request, and so on. And uh, you will be able to to give this information for several tools. And uh, for the moment, uh, I did it for Chamilo. I worked a bit with uh, a forus one, but it's not finished yet. And uh, the aim is to have in the official release, uh, Julio, uh, tell me if I'm wrong, 
is to have in the official release um, pre-installed uh, compilation or euphorus plagiarism tools uh, directly. So for the moment, it's uh, add-on. You have to unzip file and replace PHP files and run the SQL files to add a table in your database. But in uh, the later distribution, it will be uh, installed directly in, uh, in Camilo. Thanks, uh, Roger, for, for treating it. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Roger. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Very much. Uh, we still have some time. Before yeah. So this is one of, uh, of our instances uh, in Grenoble. So I'm going to log in. So uh, I've got courses with a master, master and licensed uh, students. And I use Camilo uh, within my uh, presential courses. So this is this one, uh, publication on the internet. We're talking about, uh, about blogs, uh, social medias, and uh, e-reputation. So oof, I'm logging on my course. Uh, this is the, 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 the teacher's view. So uh, I didn't use uh, all the tools of the courses, of the course. Uh, I only used documents, documents, uh, is used to uh, put the resources of the of the presential courses uh, that have done or that is going uh, that are going to be done on the week uh, the, the a week later, so they can uh, they can already check the uh, the the courses before going to the to the courses to the course uh, in presential. I use also uh, the links. I'll come back uh, very quickly on the links. Uh, the links are directly related to the to the courses. For the for the moment, uh, they just uh, just beginning uh, for this course. They are they're, they're just uh, this is just one, uh, but uh, wiki tools, and there are uh, links uh, during the um, the very common dit la veille, Patrick. Tu sais? <laughs> uh, well, when I'm working on the course, uh, uh, when, I, when I'm, I'm surfing on the net and I find some information really, really interesting, I put the links uh, in, the, in the, the links tools, and then uh, uh, then it's, it's getting it's getting richer and richer till the end uh, till the end of the of the course. The watch. The watch. <laughs> uh, I also use. Um, I also use uh, the the chat uh, during uh, during the some uh, some presential because uh, they are working in different groups in different rooms sometimes. So uh, we, we all gather on the platform and they discuss uh, within the within the chat. For example, the last session we uh, the last session we had this one. Uh, poof. Voilà. So uh, we can uh, we can collaborate uh, within uh, the, the different groups of students uh, and make the, the, the work the work advance uh, within the chat during the present show. That's uh, that's really funny because they are 
there are, it's, it's, a, it's a more informal uh, speech during uh, during the chat, and uh, it's it's quite uh, it's it's quite good because we can work, but it's, we work in a in a good atmosphere within the within the chat. Uh, I use uh, I use uh, forums for two things. Uh, first one is the a general forum. If there are questions about the course, uh, if there are uh, some some problems, they can uh, uh, they can uh, they can they can ask me something, and I uh, I encourage the students to uh, answer uh, before I do uh, to uh, to the other. So this one is a new course. There are, there are not so many uh, so many exchanges uh, yet. I've got old ones that are uh, that are more uh, more relevant at uh, the the usage. Um, and then I got uh, this one. Uh, this is a um, control <laughs> um, Right, continuing assessment uh, during the, the whole formation, I give um, I give them uh, I give them uh, uh, case studies to uh, to react during uh, during the, the courses and outside the courses. Uh, they are they are doing it uh, when they are at home or uh, or, or um, in uh, during during their free time. So this is called uh, your uh, your point of view your point of view. On, uh, on this one. So this is uh, the first case. This is a case of Jesse Slaughter. I don't know if you have uh, heard about. Uh, Jesse Slaughter is a young, uh, young girl, 11, who is insulting everybody on 4chan, and they are, and they, uh, f they, uh, by it, she has a, a rune, a, a life rune, because uh, of, on 4chan, uh, this is the, 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 the birth of the anonymous, but uh, there are some people uh, that know how to use computers, and uh, they found where she lived, uh, where she, where she were at school, where uh, uh, her parents worked, and so on. So uh, this is a big, a big, uh, sad case, uh, a sad case, uh, a sad case, uh, illustrating the, the reputation, the publication on the, uh, on the information on the internet, and what I asked the student first is. Uh, almost just one repentance, uh, one answer to uh, my uh, my case study, and what is very interesting is that uh, it is that uh, well, uh, this is a kind of uh, of production uh, of, a, of a student, very uh, very clear, very uh, structured, uh, structured, and everybody is going uh, to enrich the discussion. They are not simply answering my case study. They are even uh, going. They, they are going further, giving uh, giving more information that I didn't find first. <laughs> uh, they are giving um, uh, a great amount of new information in that case and in the, in general on the in the in the case of irreputation in general. And this is really 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 interesting. Uh, well, they, they found. Uh, they, they find they find videos illustrating their case. Uh, this is, uh, these are ads for um, an insurance insurance uh, a French insurance about uh, uh, about uh, private life on the internet. And uh, I didn't find then those videos. Uh, the students do, and so uh, I, I'm going to to keep them and use them for my other my other course. And this is uh, really really interesting because. The students are building their own, uh, oops, their own, uh, their own uh, learning resources within uh, the, the forum tools. A, there is another, um, another good, uh, good use of the forum is that uh, with this one, this one, this is a, um, a very shy student. I have, uh, I have in the in the in the, in the course a very shy student. Um, he has just waited to see uh, what the others are uh, uh, are going. Where we're going to to answer on the on the forum, and then he took uh, 
he took uh, he took the, his keyboard and, and an answer and I re um, I discovered a very intelligent uh, student, a very very um, uh, very how uh, can this uh, this one uh, a very intelligent student, uh, very structured in this in this uh, in this paper and very very rich uh, within the, his reflection. And uh, the forums, only the forums, uh, have permitted for these students to um, to uh, to be enlightened uh, within the course. Even even the other students discovered in uh, within the forums, uh, they saw, ah, oh, uh, uh, this is you. We have written that. Oh, okay, that's great. That's good. Uh, and now he's, he's, he's bec he became more active within the presidential, thanks to that kind of participation. So the forums, are, um, and then the links, all the links they are there, they are given in, uh, they are giving in the forums. I took them, and oops, so it's a big one. There. They are very particip participative forum, and uh, I took uh, I took some of the of the links and I put uh, I put them in that uh, in, in that uh, in that category of links in my links tools because uh, they have found it. It's very relevant for the, the formation, so we keep it as, a, as part of, a, of, a, of teaching uh, learning resources. Um, I use groups too. Uh, the, uh, so this is uh, my, my students. <laughs> I take uh, I take pictures of them uh, during, within the course uh, to to illustrate uh, to to it is more, uh, more 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 funny to have uh, to have its own face on its core because uh, they have the the, the 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 feeling that this is their their space of learning uh, within uh, within the platform uh, that's uh, that's uh, that's great we we can do great uh, great things with this uh, so we have groups. And in groups, uh, we have uh, uh, just a, a repository with a document tool. And each, uh, each paper that they have to do in small groups have put in the, uh, is put um, in, the, in that repository. So every, anyone can see how, uh, how the other groups are, are working and how we are going, uh, we are going to work all, uh, all together to uh, to that uh, that uh, wiki uh, wiki project, and this is great because all the exchange are stocked and are, uh, uh, are are using the platform. So I can see anything. I, I can I can gather all the information about uh, about this. Um, I can show you. Can show you. Another one. Uh, what? Uh, the chat. I remember that you were using the chat for uh, QA during the. Uh, of, uh, you know, you used to. Uh, I remember that you told me once that you were using the chat. Yeah. Uh, 11 and 12, I can answer to your questions. Are you still doing that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, the chat, um, according to the, the, the promotion, uh, it works or it doesn't work. Uh, it depends on the students. Uh, this is an example of, the, of that use uh, here. Uh, pop up uh, here. Repertoire partagé, chat files. Okay, those are uh, discussions uh, we had. Uh, we had uh, with uh, the students. Uh, sometimes it, uh, it's uh, it's uh, during the, the day. Sometimes it's uh, on the evening, and uh, every every chat discussion uh, has been uh, kept for the students. Uh, I show them. Uh, I show them uh, because uh, this one is wa was for the presentation of Camille, 
directly uh, via, via the, the chat because uh, they didn't uh, catch everything when I presented them on, uh, on the courses. Um, uh, this one is about uh, technical problems, and this one is about a motivation. A student uh, that uh, she, she was completely lost. She was completely lost. She uh, she had too many works to do uh, at that time, and uh, she uh, 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 she was lost uh, in the in the formation. So this kind of chat is just uh, it's just here to do. Okay, uh, go on. You can do it. And even the the other students that were logged on the on the chat were uh, were um, motivating her, uh, in during uh, during uh, during uh, the the chat. And this, uh, this is really, really interesting, uh, the, the chat tools, uh, because uh, we can discuss uh, uh, things we can't during the, during the, 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 the session, the presential, the, the presential session. Uh, it takes time for the teacher, obviously, but it's really, really, really interesting. Uh, another one, other pictures, and uh, you see this is the. Um, uh, how is this translated? Uh, travaux in English. Assignment. Uh, they have to. Uh, uh, this is the final evaluation. Uh, this is the final evaluation on the courses. Uh, everybody was uh, was on a computer. And I just, uh, I just told them, okay, you have a computer, you have to go, you can go everywhere. Uh, just uh, avoid the chat on Facebook. Uh, you can go to on Facebook, you may just avoid the chat on, uh, on MSN, etc. Uh, but you have uh, everything on your disposal on the net to, uh, to, uh, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to write your paper. So everybody at the end, uh, they... Uh, uh, they uh, give me. They gave me um, a PDF of the of the evaluation, and they put it rightly on the assessment uh, the assessment tools. And uh, this is great because uh, I don't have many papers to, to correct. Everything is uh, everything is uh, is here. Uh, I can control them during the, the evaluation because I saw I see all the other computers. May, um, but it's uh, it's really really interesting because uh, their their papers are really really rich uh, because they have access to to the, the whole uh, the, the whole web and uh, they can uh, they can do uh, they can do uh, some really really interesting papers. So the the assessment tools allow me to uh, collect all these uh, all these uh, all this stuff and correct uh, correct it and get there, give them a, a lesson. Another one is this one. Uh, I used the. Um, Comment on dit du coup le le les tests, l'outil test. Examen. Evaluation. 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 Um, Celui-ci c'est pas mal. So at the end uh, at the end of the course, generally, I put it uh, this uh, this one uh, active. They can go on the uh, the exercise and up. They are directly on the on the test. When there are fifteen questions, fifteen questions. Uh, most of them are uh, open uh, open uh, uh, open questions, and this is really interesting to use those uh, those kind of tests uh, because uh, in the um, in the question, I can put videos, I can put sounds. Uh, uh, in this test, this is funny, but because I, I, I found a video uh, for a teasing of the the, the movie uh, L'Exorciste, The Exorcist, and uh, this is a, a, a camera camera caché, comme on dit camera caché. Ah, oui, hidden camera, and uh, on uh, on chat roulette. 
uh, at the beginning, and it's a, it's a girl who is talking to, uh, to, to, to everybody, and just uh, at the end, she's transformed, uh, everybody is scared. And this material is a great, great um, uh, pedagogical material that I included in the, in the test. So um, uh, I just have to prevent the students within the evaluation, so, uh, keep calm, uh, uh, put, your, put the, audio, the audio down, uh, because uh, you, you, you're going to have uh, maybe a surprise during the evaluation. Uh, that, <laughs> Well, that, that's great. Uh, uh, everybody uh, so did, uh, did the, the evaluation within the platform. In pre But how to 